Your soul will be mine. Torzu, Amira, Lucas. So you can just take over people whenever the fuck he wants. Rise, rise, quas Yalapan. There is no death for you. <laughs> Fucking tourists. Yeah, I don't get to see that cutscene. It's okay. One sec, I have PDAs. We have like two, two new ones. Right, Sounds here. like a terrible disease. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to this one. This is the audio log of Engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. I'm going over 15,000 lines of code today. I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system going to hell in a handbasket. I'm confident that the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. I'm off to meet Engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. Fucking casual. We need hey, to I've learned something. Not to go on that. There's nothing down there, you know that, right? I just, I just went down there. Come on, into the monorail. I have specialized. Choo choo, monorail time. Also, this guy looks through 15,000 lines of code. It reminds me, it's like, that's like my job. Fucking 15,000 lines of code. Now leaving Environmental Reprocessing Center. Next stop, Site 2. Choo choo. What are you doing? Can't shoot that guy. Waiting here on the train no, no, don't, 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 don't. He went to investigate what was going on, but he never came back. And now, I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at Site 2. I bet they're somehow connected with those things in the Delta Complex. Don't shoot him. Like, fucking hell, it's like the only NPC we've seen forever. The Delta Remember, Complex isn't safe. You're crazy if you're going there. You're crazy. That's what he told me to shoot him, though. I think this train is safe either. I was joking. We don't know what's ahead. Have a nice day. Dude, just, just have fun on the monorail. See? Look, fucking... Uh oh. Warning. Airlock malfunction. Please contact engineering to facilitate repairs. Thank you, and have a nice day. Oh look, it's this guy. And he's dead. I, I like the fact that Petruder just kind of hangs out and converts people. He's a, he's a good leader. He takes a personal role in these kinds of things. Got like Nelspeth better to do. He's, he should get a really healthy raise on his next review for being so... I gotta get a razor, isn't like the the head honcho? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, I did not mean to fall down here. Well, there, there's there's health down here. I was already down well, here. Well, I lost health getting down here. <laughs> okay, you can get it all back. Net loss of five health. There's more health over like here. Oh. I got myself again. You know, I've not had adrenaline in so long. Yeah. Can't see anything. It's not really a wonderful power up. In this one, what I do is go fast. Well, as I said, the, the, the stamina doesn't really matter until it runs out. Like, it's you have a lot of it to begin with. And we're always running around. Oh, God. Fucking. 
This is the worst kind of co-op moment when there's a bunch of explosive barrels. <laughs> this is when trust comes into play. Okay, that hurt me too. That, that went way from- oh god! Spook Arena. It's not even it about- came from- <laughs> Behind. Behind. Uh, fucking- that, that's a Warcraft reference. No, no it's that, a Warcraft that, reference making a Star Wars reference. That, that is actually true. But it was correct that I was referencing that. Oh shit, shit, don't just don't destroy this one barrel here. Uh, yes, oh yes. Oh shit, what? sorry, I, I knocked you into it, I'm sorry. I wait, I don't even think I did that. That's kinda weird. You did! I just lost all my armor, so it was you. One sec. Oh, can you kill that guy? Don't they have to how it I'm I'm getting his armor. This is dangerous, but Okay, it does it doesn't work really. One sec. You see that armor up there? We gotta get that. You blew it up, you idiot! No I didn't. Yeah you did. Or maybe Blame he did. Okay, let's see if we can get the armor like this. Damn it. And we can't. Oh, actually, maybe we can. No. See, you see how I'm trying to get to the armor? You have a better idea? How the fuck did you do that? Get good. <laughs> how the fuck did you do that? Jump on the crate on the left. I thought I did that. Oh, yeah, oh I, I see. You <laughs> get out the pixel of it. Fuck. Yeah, it's literally like a matter of like three microns that the person who made the map fucking didn't didn't take into account. Well, maybe he did take into account. You never know. <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, someone will want to do this one day. Being <sighs> cop. Oh, it's down here. Oh, okay, good. We're safe here. Oh yes, free ammo, and armor, and health. Yes. Let me, let me, let me at it. Oh no! You know, if I was really into this situation, I'd just be making scary noises behind you all the time. And be like, and then, and I then think if, like, we're, if we're really in the situation, uh, we'd already be dead. Uh, probably, actually, that that would probably be the, the more likely scenario. <laughs> now I'd, I'd probably become a zombie because my willpower is not high enough. Okay, well. <laughs> I have to fucking breed PDAs while the, while those things come for us. Okay, so this is the airlock tests. I, I think there's gonna be thick guys coming for us, but whatever. Oh, uh, here we go. E EAP policy modification. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP director, dated September fifth, twenty one forty five. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation for that as well. program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. Uh, no, I don't have a code for that. What is the what is the code for that? I don't even know. Okay, I, I have no idea what the code to that is. Oh, A two six, I think. Not good nuts. Oh, yeah, that was it. Fucking Could you spiders. Jump down. We're gonna hurt, nerd.
the hell are you doing? Stop downloading PDAs. Where the fuck are you even? Back at the train. Really? You ran all the way back? You just fucking skipped all the, the, the spiders? Why not? It's, I guess it's right, right there. Because the spook! Oh no, he's dead. Did you kill him? Next no? Oh. What kind of monster you take uh -oh. me for? Oh, turn it off! I wanna, I wanna get off the ride. <laughs> I wanna get off. <laughs> the fuck? Did we both die? Engineering, please report to Delta Complex access ramp. Track sensor failure detected. Oh, I, th I thought physics killed us. <laughs> I won't lie. <Switch. laughs> Take me away from this place, physics. Nice, nice, nice. No problem. You have fun with that. Torches, trouble hitting. Oh, I'll see you later, buddy. The guy, the guy just ran right past me. He didn't, he didn't even care. Oh no, no, he changed his mind, and now he's dead. Oh, he's behind you. Get him, Mike! I believe. Fuck! I keep missing my shotgun for whatever reason. Video game. What? Oh. There was another spider. Right. Clever girls! There's some shit down there. Okay. So why'd you say clever girls? I got a clever girl by the spiders. Ah. Uh, clearly the most threatening of all I the enemies. I still took fall damage from that! God damn, Doom Guy! Doom Guy sucks now. He's been showing his, his... It's kind of like how they did Duke Nukem. Remember how shitty Duke Nukem forever was? They just fucking destroyed Duke. He became like an old man. Just wheezing and everything. It's like, cool, you want me to carry more than two weapons? <laughs> <laughs> At least they did go that far with Doom 3, I'll say that much. Whoops. Uh, I haven't used this in a while. For good reason. It kind of sucks, I won't lie. It's kind of why, why I went I back to the shotgun. Maybe good against bigger creatures, like just keep shooting rockets, but even then, I don't know. Oh, there's a PDA in here. It's Carol, Carol Cullen, and she just has a shit ton of emails. She, she hates the fucking turret shutdown stuff, because everyone's freaked out about the turrets here for whatever reason. Additional Spooky commando guys around here. We're gonna talk about specimens from Delta. What? Destroy this Alright, almost behind us. Something definitely spawned. Nope. Oh, what? I was right? No way! <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> You're learning well, Grasshopper. <laughs> well, I know, I know it always does that, but it's just funny as hell. It's like something triggered. Behind us. It was just so random, though. Warning: automated turret guns are not. I like the fact that you went back there and like, oh, I'm not just there. And then wait a minute. So the the tur the tur oh the turrets are shooting at me Warning. too. Warning: automated turret guns online. What? Yeah, we can turn them off here. I'm just gonna get oh, I, oh great, I just turned them off when, at, the, at the worst time. Uh, activate it, activate it! You're so fucked, Ken. No. I, I probably should have waited for the turret guns to kill those ones. And look, there's more of them now. God damn it, I'm an idiot. I have shorter health. Now, judging by the fact that we, we can only have up to 100. 
let's just stay, let's just stay in here. Oh look, look, there's dockers. Now I don't actually know what the codes both are. Let me go see if she has a PDA with them. Okay, no. Uh, three six four. Uh, three six four. Three six four. There you go. Get to live. Yeah. I got him. Yeah. I'm, I'm good job, Mr. Master of Unlocking. I know. I'm. I'm. I'm good at this video game. There's like literally nothing here. It's just blood. No. It's too much blood in in this fucking. I hear something for more health. Oh my! Damn. Exit. Exit. Monorail. Oh yeah! Finally, we're in Delta Labs. Fuck yeah. I like that. We will see a Hell Knight. You're a Hell Knight. Fucking Delta Labs. Whatever happened to Beta Labs and Charlie Labs? Why are we going to Delta Labs? Oh, well, you see, Alpha Labs is where all the cool shit happens. But Beta and Charlie just like boring shit like boxes and. I don't know. In home in economics. Floors with blood. I like this shit here. I remember this level. I heard it in somewhere, but whatever. So I imagine like Petruga's oh, giving what? orders. What? I'm out of the game? Are you? You kicked me out. Oh. Why? Okay, come back in then. Meanwhile, I'll go listen to this PDA that we just got. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Assignment of engineers to the lower Delta Labs has become almost impossible. In six months, we've gone from a volunteer surplus to a critical deficiency of qualified personnel willing to accept assignment. Increases in both pay and benefits have done little to help the situation. Sucked. Through exit interviews as well as the weekly and again. medical brief, it's become apparent to everyone that the rate of sudden and unexplained mental illness is way beyond acceptable levels, even from ours. They're derogatorily being called sub-delts up here, and I have a feeling this attitude will spread to other parts of the UAC. End of blog. Yeah, you're getting kicked out a lot, aren't you? Alright, I got one more PDA. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Disciplinary Action Report 40C-8, responding to Mars City Administration request. Delta Labs 1 is currently addressing a problem concerning theft of security equipment. Four members of the security detail assigned to the Delta Labs have been reprimanded with three others under investigation. It seems caches of weapons, armor, and ammo have been discovered in various places throughout the Delta Labs. We've located some of the missing equipment and have information that we hope will lead us to more. Emergency I have a team investigating only. storage room 21D with security suspended. code 298, where I've learned stolen items may be located. I hope to recover all items and find all personnel responsible. 298. Log. Okay, um, are you restarting your game? I'll try it, yeah. Alright. 